the Duchess of Sussex visited Johannesburg's Victoria Yards, a place for artisans and craftspeople to work and share their creations. Meghan Markle is full of surprises. The Duchess of Sussex made yet another unannounced appearance during her royal tour of Africa on Monday. She visited Johannesburg's Victoria Yards, a place for artisans and craftspeople to work and share their creations. Meghan's first stop was at Sneakers for Change, an organization that collects and donates sneakers to those less fortunate. She then headed to Young Bucks, a small business that makes books from recycled materials. During the stop, Meghan commented that she used to teach a book binding class, back when she supplemented her acting work by teaching classes such as calligraphy. Next up, the 38-year-old royal mom visited Chpo Jean Maker, which makes custom jeans and was started by a local designer from Soweto. He spoke to Meghan about the growth of his business, which now employs 10 people, and presented her with a tiny pair of overalls for nearly 5-month-old son Archie. He also revealed that Meghan placed an order for a pair of jeans four weeks ago, which she personally picked up. Chpo shared this info about the logo for his line, The crown on my jeans represents the three ladies who raised me. Enjoy wearing this crown. Finally, the Duchess of Sussex visited a small market exhibiting some of the items you can find at Victoria Yards and listened to a performance by Belita Andre, a spoken word artist. For the occasion, Meghan wore an indigo Wilfred dress featuring buttons down the front by Eratiza and red Everlane flats. The surprise outing comes just one day after Meghan Skyped into a meeting Prince Harry was having at the Nilkul College of Education in Malawi. As her face appeared on the screen, which was positioned for all to see, the group of young women burst into song, as Meghan could be seen clapping along with a big smile on her face. Meghan told those gathered, we're just so proud as President and Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust that we can support you in everything that you do because we cannot begin to express how valuable and vital that work is, we're just incredibly proud to be part of it. The royal mom also shared an update on the couple's son. I wish I could be with you, she continued. We're in South Africa right now, Archie's taking a nap. I'm with you in spirit. Meghan Markle was almost lost for words when she was presented with a pair of denim dungarees made specially for baby Archie. The gifts were presented to the Duchess of Sussex, 38, as she made a solo visit to Victoria Yards in Johannesburg. Victoria Yards in Lawrenceville is described as an urban village environment for crafters and artists to work, collaborate and exhibit. The Duchess went on her own without Prince Harry or their son Archie. The Duchess was given a pair of dungarees specially made for Archie from a local designer, who declined to comment on his meeting with her. Meghan was also delighted when she was given a pair of designer jeans made especially for her from one of South Africa's up-and-coming brands. Meghan could only say, oh my, oh my when she saw the skinny fit jeans. Very cute. And when a tiny pair of dungarees, made for her son Archie, were handed over. Her words summed them up, very cute. Lezidi Masmola, manager of Chpo's showroom, which features the company's workshops and studios, said, From what we've seen on the internet, she's the type of person who loves skinny fit so that's what we made. When she saw the jeans, the words she said were, Oh my, oh my, she was very impressed, she loved the jeans, she said she couldn't wait to try them on and said, Wow. And when she saw the dungarees, she said, very cute. The manager added, I think they are very, very lovely. Chpo is a premium lifestyle brand that has a modern contemporary take on the use of denim and cotton. Meghan's designer jeans cost 2,100 South African rand, 113 pounds, but for Archie's dungarees, Mr. Masmala said it was a special order we've never done before so I couldn't give you a price. Artist James Delaney told Channel 24, We were told in the morning to expect a very important guest later in the day, and that the complex would be shut down from 1 p.m. While the name of the VIP guest wasn't revealed Mr. Delaney said the tenants quickly guessed as they knew Meghan was in town. Meghan arrived at around 2 p.m. with the artists putting their work and designs on display. Whirlwind Visit 
Mr. Delaney said he had a friendly chat with Megan, adding I introduced myself as James, and she said, Hi, I'm Megan. He described the visit, which lasted about half an hour, as a whirlwind, saying it was lovely to meet her. Megan also revealed she used to teach book binding classes. Megan bought three little blank notebooks from an organization called Young Bucks, which uses recycled goods to bind books, made by local interns. Megan's were made from an upcycled local fabric called Shchw, a dyed and printed fabric used to make colorful South African clothing. Simon Sismazen, co-director of the Makers Valley Partnership, which has helped to create the collective, said, she bought these three little notebooks and also mentioned that she used to do workshops in book binding herself. She used to coach book binding. Megan wore navy Wilfried by Art is a shirt dress and red slingback flats by Everlane for her visit as she chatted to the artisans on the eighth day of their African tour. The official Johannesburg leg of their royal tour gets underway on Tuesday and will culminate with a meeting with President Cyril Ramaphosa in Pretoria the following day. While Meghan ventured out on her own Prince Harry had earlier in the day put his photography skills to use by launching a campaign with the National Geographic to raise awareness of the role trees play in the Earth's ecosystem. South Africa marks the last leg of their 10-day tour around Southern Africa. The Duke and Duchess met up with the Angolan President João Lourenço at the Presidential Palace in Luanda just two days ago. The meeting comes after a packed Friday, in which he visited a landmine clearance project that featured in some of the most famous photographs of his late mother, Princess Diana. The Duke, 35, has briefly parted ways with Meghan, 38, and their four-month-old son after they all landed in South Africa on Monday. Their first overseas tour as a family has featured engagements including visits to poor townships and a meeting with Nobel Peace Prize laureate Desmond Tutu. They'll reunite towards the end of the 10-day trip in Johannesburg on Wednesday, before returning to the UK. Earlier in the tour baby Archie had won over everyone's hearts when the toddler met Archbishop Desmond Tutu and gave him a high five.